Hey everybody, Caleb here. We got another video in the 60 day upload challenge. We're over halfway there, so thank you for checking this one out. Today we are talking about the Bible and how the books of the Bible got their names. Sometimes when we are looking at things, we kind of just assume that people might understand it. Like if you're somebody who's a Christian, maybe you're somebody who's not a Christian, we just assume whether it's like, well, everybody knows this, they know why they're named that, or maybe there's an assumption of like, they're probably named something for some weird reason. So I just want to make a short, quick video. Here's why the books of the Bible have their names. There's different kinds of books, that sort of a thing. We're going to run through it really fast. I literally mean it really fast. We're going to go through it really quick. So before we do that though, Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, appreciate it so much. Thank you guys for being willing to do that and join us for the journey. So, right now though, we're going to look at the Bible. Now, when we look through it, there's some different ways that the books are named. The first five books of the Bible, they have a little bit of a different story. You have Genesis, it's about the beginning. You have the Exodus, it's about an event. Israelites leaving Egypt. You have Leviticus, it's all about the law. You have Numbers, and it's actually going through and telling some story about Israel. And you have Deuteronomy, again, another one that's starting to tell some story about Israel, the country, that sort of a thing. There's some other particular ones to those first five. Those first five have their specific reasons for their names. We're not going to go into it right now, though, just to make it a little bit easier. So then, you then go in and you can see that a lot of the books of the Bible are actually named something, whether it's because it was written about someone, like Joshua, 1st and 2nd Samuel, you might have Daniel, there's some ones like that. Or you might see that it's written somewhat about that person, but by that person. You have Isaiah, you have Jeremiah, you have Amos, you have all of these different ones right there. So... Right there, we kind of can see, okay, it's written about somebody or it's written by somebody. It's just their name. It's simple enough like that. Then you look and you have like first and second Kings. It's two books about the Kings of Israel. Okay. That's kind of simple to be able to think about first and second Chronicles. It's a chronicle. It's a story. It's telling and recounting important events. Again, very straightforward thing. This might, again, might seem like a simple video, but again, it's just trying to get this all straight for us. You look through it, you see the Psalms. They're a bunch of poems. They're psalms about something. There's being able to say things. You have Proverbs. They're a bunch of Proverbs of wisdom. Then you look and you get to the New Testament. Again, I was kind of flying through this, trying to give it a general look. Then you get to the Gospels. These are written. You have Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Of course, all of these are about Jesus, but they're named after the people who wrote them, or actually better put the people that wrote them down, because Matthew, Luke, and John are the authors of their Gospels. Mark is not necessarily the person giving the content. The person giving the content is Peter, but Mark was the person who wrote it down, so it was named after him. Then you look and you have Acts. That is about the Acts of the Apostles. That's actually the full name of it. It's it's not acts like body spray in like a high school gym or anything like that. Then you get to this chunk where it's Romans, Corinthians, Thessalonians, all this different stuff. They're cities. It's cities that letters are being written to by certain people. So you look at these names of these books of the Bible. They're areas that the book was written to, and that is why they're named that. And then you look, and you might have a book then like 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy. Well, why is it named that? Timothy didn't write it. It was written to Timothy though. So it's a letter addressed to him. And then you look and you see first and second Peter. Well, that was written by Peter. So that's where it might get confusing for some of you. Cause you might be like, well, some of these books are named after a person receiving it. Some were written based off of the person writing it. That's the thing though, that you just have to take some time to read. Cause you'll then start reading it. You're like, oh, this was written by this person. This is why it takes place, that sort of a deal. My point of this video is just to help you know, the books of the Bible were not named these things by a bunch of random people. They weren't named to be confusing. They were named to be very, very straightforward. So that when you hear the name of it, you're like, Oh yeah, it was about this person. It was mainly written by this person. It was to these people and it just helps characterize it. It's a name. It's not necessarily a name like how we name books today where it might be catchy, trying to catch your eye. They're trying to be very straightforward. Like, hey, this is a letter to Roman church people. Like that sort of a thing. But because the Bible is a living document and we believe that it was God breathed, that God was able to work alongside inspiring the authors that we then see it today, 
Even though it was written to a Roman church a long time ago, we can read through it and see how it still affects us to this day. And so I just wanted to share that really fast. I hope it made sense. Comment down below if you're a little bit confused. Maybe you have some questions and I could answer them at some point for you. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of videos coming out. This is just one that I wanted to get out there for y'all. Thank you guys for checking this out. Hope you have a great day. If you have any questions about the Bible, please, please, please comment them down below. All right, so thank you guys so much for checking this out today. Appreciate y'all so much, and I will... See you tomorrow.